<laughs> we're here in Atlanta, Georgia. Obviously, I live here. So, Rachel's in town. And if you don't know her, she's a real low slain. She's known for her posing. She's my posing coach. And ironically enough, she was like, yeah, I'm coming to town to guest pose. And four days ago, they were like, hey, how was your posing routine? I was like, it was, I mean, it was fine. I made it up on stage. So people seemed to like it. it They're like, all right, you want to pose? I was like, guest pose? I was like, yeah, sure. We can pose together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just had a blast. Um, David posed, and then I posed, and it was super, super cool. David and I got to work together, and he just won his show in two categories. So it was super cool um, to get up there. I don't think I've ever, like, had a client guest pose at the same show as me, <laughs> ever. So that was, like, so cool. And it made me, like, super proud. He's done an amazing job, and stay tuned because we're going to do a lot of, like, posing tutorial stuff mm -hmm. in the future. Um, and, yeah, that's what happens when you practice your posing. You get opportunities like this. So, no joke, I was posing like a bodybuilder. And I look like a bodybuilder. She literally turned me into a classic competitor. And I went, all of a sudden, like, I hit a pose, and I was telling her, I go, wow, I look like Darwin Ur Urban. Yeah. Right? And I remember sitting with John Meadows, obviously my mentor, and he was like a father to me. At the Chicago Pro, the last time we were in person together, and the last bodybuilding show he was at, and we literally, uh, apparently I hit 10,000 steps standing still. Um, it's like so it was the posing. <laughs> yeah. It was that oh, last cool. Post. What's up for me? <laughs> um, and, you know, it was like that moment where it was like a eureka moment, and this is the first person that I've ever posed with. First person. Oh. Rachel was the first person I've ever posed with, where I like every single pose, every single pose is improved. And on top of it, we just have a good time when we do it. It's... Even the transitions, it was like seamless. It's the first time where I feel like I just like move one foot and I shift into a pose, everything like that. And I obviously got the opportunity to guest pose. I think you're just sick. Um, and you will have to watch her guest posing because you guys will get chills. Aww. So we'll have definitely some more content coming for you guys. You guys have asked me for posing content. The reason why I can pose and why you guys want to see posing content is literally because of her. <laughs>
is awesome. Um, David's a great poser, like I said, and uh, a lot of that comes from working with a good coach, not just a good coach, but someone who can put you in a safe environment to where you can feel like you can put your guard down and be vulnerable in posing, because that's where you start when you can drop your ego and admit your skill level and work your way up, whether you're a beginner or you have a dance background or whatever, but David also is a good example because he takes the notes I give him and he practices and just like anything else, if you don't practice, I can tell. And um, <laughs> your body can tell and the audience can tell as well. So it's just a good, perfect storm combination of all those things. So this is a great person for us to do some content with. Stay tuned. If you do need help with posing individually for any category, you can go on my website and we'll give you the link. And until then, you will see us soon. Yeah, and one last thing I want to close out with. She's the first person coach ever I have even heard of doing this, but she is like OCD detailed in her posings. Like she literally sends you a script, a transcript of, these are the poses that we did. This is what you need to change. And I like, by the way, I didn't read through it. I'm just like, you know, I just, <laughs> remember, I just remember, I'm I'm, I'm audio, I'm an audio learner. Yeah. So like I like caught it and like I already knew. And, but for the majority of you out there that have not been in the sport for as long as I have, that don't know, understand posing and can't pick up on cues as much, you literally will have a sheet of paper so you can be like, okay, I need, hey babe, I need to run through my pose. You hand them the sheet of paper, help them through. Um, You didn't do this on the sheet of paper. That's a checklist for when you're doing things wrong. That's huge. Right. And even for Caroline, she missed something when I didn't pose. I was like, I swear, like she told me to cue on that. And then I had a sheet of paper be like, hey, here you go. And it makes a huge difference when you're practicing and you're doing homework day in, day out. On top of it, do not neglect your posing. When you're dieted down, it gets so much harder to pose. You get crampy, you get achy, your glutes hurt for no reason. And you, know, you just want to run through the motions. But yeah, exactly. So it's good to get started early. And like David said, he is more of a visual learner. And I kind of pick up on diff pe different people's learning cues and works best what works best for them so i'm always going to give you guys notes for the people who are better at more analytical and they need to they like to read it out and learn that way i'm going to give you pictures for the people who need to just see things and i'm going to give you audio audio cues during our session so i'm in your head when you're doing that pose and you can hear that and get in your spot so everybody can be tailored to um, just like a, like David would give one of his clients a meal plan, it's not going to be cookie cutter. Your posing isn't either. Um, so that's our goal here is to find the best for you. Yeah, she's always in shape, so she can demonstrate her poses too. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. We'll do another video when I'm fat. <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll probably do this by the time we're all yeah, eating like donuts, oh, no. Oreos. We have type 2 diabetes by this point. We'll and, do an episode oh, oh, wait. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do type 2 diabetes. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to prevent you guys from <laughs> No more obesity on this channel. Yeah. We're fighting this. All right. We'll catch you all soon.